Space Exploration Technologies Corporation, also known as SpaceX, is now the center of attraction among rocket enthusiasts. Founded on 2002 by Elon Musk, SpaceX has traveled a long way and achieved many goals in its 18 years of operation. Watch the entire video to explore the complete history of SpaceX. Back in 2001, one year before the establishment of SpaceX, the 30 years old Elon Musk had an idea of revolutionizing the aerospace industry by making affordable space flight a reality. Becoming a multiplanetary species can happen. I think you know, the point at which it becomes an exothermic reaction is uh, if you can reduce the cost of moving to Mars, which is I think the only realistic possibility. He also had an idea of developing a Mars oasis by sending miniature experimental greenhouse containing seeds with dehydrated gel to the red planet. To make his dream a reality, he needed a rocket, and that too, at an affordable price. In February 2002, Musk traveled to Russia to look for intercontinental ballistic missiles that could send the payloads into space with minor design changes. And so I ended up going to Russia three times to try to buy uh, the, the biggest ICBM in the Russian nuclear fleet. Um, so I actually did negotiate a deal to, to buy two of the ICBMs minus the nukes. But the Russians offered one rocket for 8 million US dollars, which was too expensive for Musk. While on the return flight from Russia, Musk did the math and realized that he could start a company which could build the rockets with only 3% of the sales price of a rocket at that time. With the plan of building rockets from scratch, Musk now need experts in rocket science to make his dream a reality. He recruited Tom Mueller, one of the world's leading spacecraft propulsion expert, and Gwynne Shotwell, mechanical engineer and an expert in space research and development. On May 6, 2002, SpaceX was officially launched with its headquarters in California. Musk invested over $100 million in SpaceX. How much of your personal fortune have you poured into this? Uh, $100 million. $100 million yes. into something that you did not believe would work at the beginning. Yes. SpaceX began developing its rockets and had the first successful test of its Merlin engine on 2003. Musk decided SpaceX's first rocket would be named Falcon 1. Falcon 1 had one Merlin engine on its first stage and a Kestrel engine on its second stage. Both first and second stage used RP-1 as the fuel and liquid oxygen as the oxidizer. Even though Musk planned for Falcon 1's first launch to occur in November 2003, 15 months after the company started, he couldn't achieve that goal. After three years of development, Falcon 1 was finally ready to conduct its first launch on 24 March 2006, carrying Falcon Sat-2 to orbit. Unfortunately, the launch ended in failure, less than a minute into the flight. The culprit was a fuel line leak on the first stage. The vehicle had a noticeable rolling motion after liftoff, as shown on the launch video. The vehicle rocked back and forth a bit, and then at T-plus 26 seconds, the vehicle rapidly pitched over. The second launch of Falcon 1, carrying a demo sat instead of a real satellite, occurred on 24 March 2007, one year after the failure of first launch attempt. This time, the first stage performed as expected. However, during staging, the interstage fairing located on the top of the first stage bumped on the second stage engine bell. Still, the flight continued. But, a premature engine shutdown happened at T plus 7 minutes and 30 seconds, and the spacecraft failed to reach the intended orbit. SpaceX characterized the test flight as a success, having flight proven over 95% of Falcon 1's systems. SpaceX attempted its third Falcon 1 launch on 3rd August 2008, carrying the Trailblazer satellite for the US Air Force, along with two other nano satellites. This time, stage separation occurred as planned, but, because residual fuel in the new Merlin engine evaporated and provided transient thrust, the first stage recontacted the second stage, preventing successful completion of the mission. The loss of its first three rockets pushed SpaceX to the brink of bankruptcy. With all the money they had left in their pocket, SpaceX attempted their fourth launch on 28 September 2008. Falcon 1 lifted off from Marshall Islands with 165 kg demo sat. The rocket followed the same trajectory as the previous flight and successfully placed the satellite in orbit. On that evening, SpaceX proved to themselves and to the world, failure is the stepping stone to success. When you had that third failure in a row, did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. 
Why not? I don't ever give up. I mean, I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. But, but when um, critics say you can't do this, your answer to them is, we've done it. SpaceX thus became the first company to privately develop a rocket and reach the orbit. With the successful launch of Falcon 1, SpaceX received $1.6 billion contract from NASA to deliver cargo to the International Space Station with a minimum of 12 flights. SpaceX then accelerated the development of its next launch vehicle, Falcon 9. Falcon 9 is a two-stage rocket with nine Merlin engines on its first stage and one vacuum-optimized Merlin on its second stage. Falcon 9 version 1.0 had a successful test flight on 4th June 2010. SpaceX attempted to recover the first stage by parachuting it into the ocean, but it burned up on re-entry before the parachutes even deployed. In late 2011, SpaceX announced a change in its first stage recovery approach, eliminating the parachutes and going with a propulsively powered descent approach. A reusable first stage was then flight tested by SpaceX, with the suborbital Grasshopper rocket. From 2010 to 15, Falcon 9 conducted 19 flights into the orbit, out of which only one failed. On 22 December 2015, Falcon 9 successfully launched Orbcom satellite into orbit and landed its booster stage on ground pad located at California, thus becoming the first vertical landing of an orbital-class rocket. Today, a single Falcon 9 launch would cost $62 million, which is much cheaper compared to other launch vehicles. And if you reuse the Falcon 9 booster flew earlier, the cost of one flight would be as low as $30 million. Falcon 9 had a series of design changes from 2010 to 16. Falcon 9 version 1.0 is now upgraded to Falcon 9 Block 5. As of now, the Falcon 9 family have been launched 93 times, with 91 full mission successes, one partial failure, and one total loss of the spacecraft. What would a rocket company do if they had to launch a heavier satellite into orbit? Build a powerful rocket, right? But SpaceX went one step further by strapping three Falcon 9 rockets together and introducing its new heavy lift rocket, Falcon Heavy. SpaceX conducted the Falcon Heavy's maiden flight on February 6, 2018, carrying a Tesla Roadster with a dummy Starman as payload and sending them into a heliocentric orbit around the Sun. The two booster stages of Falcon Heavy successfully landed on ground pads, whereas the core stage failed to land on the drone ship. Falcon Heavy has conducted three successful launches till now. With its success rate and reliability, SpaceX bought the contract from NASA to launch astronauts to the International Space Station. On 16 September 2014, NASA announced that SpaceX has been selected to provide crew transportation to the space station, and SpaceX will receive $2.6 billion under this contract. Upon receiving the contract, SpaceX developed its Crew Dragon spacecraft to meet the NASA standards required for sending astronauts to the space station. On May 30, 2020, SpaceX successfully launched NASA astronauts Douglas Hurley and Robert Behnken into orbit, making SpaceX the first private company to send astronauts to the International Space Station and marking the first crewed launch from American soil in nine years. Elon Musk has not forgotten his goal of sending humans to Mars and starting a colony there, while all the low-Earth orbit missions are running smoothly. SpaceX began development of its interplanetary spacecraft, Starship, in 2007 and is going through its construction phase right now. The construction site at Texas is growing fast these days, and we can expect an orbital flight of Starship by next year. We have covered the complete evolution of Starship in our previous video. So, check out that video to know more. I will provide the link in the description. The journey of SpaceX is still continuing and is growing rapidly. I hope SpaceX can put human on Mars one day and make us an interplanetary species. What do you think about the future of SpaceX? Let us know in the comment section. We will be covering more SpaceX-related videos in the future. So, don't forget to subscribe our channel. And as always, thanks for watching.